What is going on YouTube? Gabe here with Review Dork and today we're going to talk about the GTX 1070. Now I get this question asked a lot, is it obsolete? And we're going to talk about that coming right up after the break. Alright guys, so if it's your first time visiting this channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button! Here at Review Dark, we review tech, media, viral videos, and of course video games, but we're going to talk about the 1070 GTX or the GTX 1070. I tend to be a little dyslexic. Anyways, um, I have the Asus ROG uh, G20CB that came with the GTX 1070, and it was on sale at Best Buy for $12.99. Uh, regular price was like $15.99 or $16.99. I couldn't remember, but I remember that was pretty much that price point was dictating if I bought it and I went ahead and did and I couldn't be happier. Yes, I could have opted for the next step up which came with a 1080 but that was about $400 more. And again, for a card that performed, you know, 20 to 25% better, it really, really didn't justify that uh, additional cost. Now the cards, if we look at the cards today, uh, the 1080, has dropped in price thanks to the 1080 Ti. Now the 1080 Ti is sitting at $699. The 1080 is sitting at $529 with an effective price of $479 if you couple it with the free game that you're getting right now is Ghost Recon, right? And then the 1070 is $399. And guess what? Since its introduction, it's always been $399. We have not seen a price cut. Why have we not seen a price cut? Because the 1070 is the card for the masses. NVIDIA understands this. This is where they're going to make all their money. Sure, the benchmarkers and the fanboys are going to go ahead and jump from the 1080 to the 1080 Ti. They're going to SLI the crap out of it. They're going to go ahead and throw their benchmarks on YouTube. But I have to ask you, does it change the game for you? Okay, now I have a 1440 monitor. I did a review on this monitor when I bought it. It was also on sale and it's a TN monitor. Some people say, oh, it's not IPS, but it has a one millisecond refresh rate and um, it has the NVIDIA G-Sync technology. So I'm really, really happy about that. But um, I was able to play Grand Theft Auto on Ultra settings with the Redux mod and the Ultra Realistic uh, mod on Grand Theft Auto. And it's an absolutely beautiful game, a beautiful game. And uh, it plays so smoothly, no stuttering, no jagging, no nothing. It just plays smoothly and I love it. Um, also to the back of me, you will see a Samsung 4K monitor and I bought that monitor because well, I needed a dual monitor setup. Okay, and uh, I could have went ahead and got a 1080p monitor, but that would have just set me backwards. I figured, hey, you know what, let me just future-proof myself a little bit more. And because of that, I had the ability to play The Witcher 3 in 4K, and I was absolutely amazed by that. Now, I was hitting 30 frames per second in very high settings uh, with The Witcher, and again, I saw no stuttering, uh, no stress, Nothing, none of that, none of that. And so the 1070 is a competent graphics card. Sure, you know, you have Crisis 3, you have Rise of Tomb Raider that are really, really, really push it. But if you're talking about value at 399 and it hasn't budged, it's, there's a reason why, because Nvidia knows that that is the mass market card, right? And I'm a mass market guy. I'm always going for the best deal. Now let's talk about the YouTubers with a ginormous following. Now you guys are mega influencers. I watch your channels and I see all these benchmarkings and I have to ask myself and I ask anybody who's playing, you know, unless you're using, uh, using a 970 graphics card. Now the 970 compared to the 1070, you're talking about a 70% jump in performance. So, you know, hey, that, that is mind numbing all in itself. Plus you're going from four gigabytes of RAM to eight gigabytes of RAM and eight gigs is now the standard for most developers. Uh, so you would want to have those eight gigs readily available, but you have these major influencers, you know, just throwing out those benchmark numbers. And I'm sitting here saying, well, you know, but my games look amazing regardless. Dirt Rally looks amazing. It looks amazing in 4K. It looks amazing in uh, uh, 1440p. And no matter how much you uh, hype up the graphical fidelity. No matter how much power you put in a graphics card, I have to ask you, 
does the game change? Do you get extra XP for having a top of the line graphics card? Now, going to the 1070, will it be obsolete? Maybe about three, four years. Maybe. Okay, we see, you know, just so much advancement in technology right now that, you know, you, you can't help but feel left behind. You know, you have the introduction of HDR, which I'm sure the 1080 Ti is going to support. And we have new monitors, 4K monitors, 144 hertz monitors with HDR. And, you know, that just really ups the game. But if that's your thing, if that's what you're into, go for it. But if you're all about just being a gamer, just enjoying the game, listen, a 1070 is going to be more powerful than the Xbox Scorpio. <laughs> you know, we're waiting for that, right? Uh, it, we, we don't have any specs on the damn thing, right? You know, it's supposed to be the most powerful console ever created, and absolutely, but it will not, you know, it, it can't wave a finger at a 1070 or even a 1080, and absolutely not a 1080 Ti. We have the Vega coming out, and we don't have the specs on that. We don't have price points on that, uh, but AMD is looking to change the game just like they did with the AMD Ryzen. And so, again, if you are a number chaser, if you are a stat junkie, you know, and you have the discretionary income to go for it, then go for it. But don't do it out of fear that you are going to be left behind. The 1070 GTX is more than capable. The AMD 480 is more than capable. I mean, at 5.4 teraflops, I mean, you're, you're essentially right up there with what? I mean, you're more powerful than a PS4 Pro. And you're right up there with the new Xbox. Now, uh, why didn't I jump on a 1080 even with the price cuts? Well, I tell you what. The reason why I didn't jump on a 1080 or the 1080 Ti is because I'm waiting for the AMD Vega. Not necessarily because I am going to buy an AMD Vega, but I really think that there's going to be a market shift and a suppression of prices. You're going to see prices drop. This is what happens with technology. This is what happens in open market. This is what happens in capitalism. And I really think that AMD is really trying to push the element. Now, uh, I mean, why won't I go AMD? Well, I'm sort of kind of invested in uh, G-Sync right now with my 1440 monitor. Uh, and more importantly, you have to consider this, guys. You know, when you up the ante and you jump to a 4K capable graphics card, you're not just buying a graphics card, but you're, you also have to buy the monitor, the supporting component. It's no point. It's like buying, you know, a, a, a Ferrari and, and, and putting low octane gas in it. You know, you're not going to push it to its fullest potential. So when you go ahead and you're making that jump from a 970 or let's say, you know, a 480 or whatever the case may be, you know, you have to think about, you know, what infrastructure you're already built into and that you're not only buying the graphics card, you're buying the supporting components that will allow you to push that graphics card to the limit, okay? Now, again, I have a 4K monitor for my dual monitor setup, but you know what? I game on my 1440. I just do. I watch Netflix on my 4K monitor. It looks great. I love it. But again, you know, if you're going to invest in a graphics card, do not only think about the cost of the graphics card, but think about the cost of your components to, you know, unleash your graphics card's potential. Um, and again, as I said before, the 1070 will not be obsolete. It just won't. Uh, three, four years down the road, maybe. But you know what? Uh, unless you got the money to burn and, you know, you're just one of those uh, benchmark monkeys, hey, go right ahead. Uh, this is Gabe with Review Dork. I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace!